It's a great day to play, everybody! Welcome on into the channel. Whether it's your first time here or you are rejoining us, thank you so much for being here with us today. You are loved, you are appreciated, and you're always welcome here in this channel. And again, if you notice things look a little bit different, we are on vacation right now. So all this is being recorded uh, while we were on vacation. I wanted to take the little extra time that I had to get you guys some more content. A um, couple things I want to go through real quick before we get into the video today, which we're going to be doing if I rule the world so we can get prepared for Rise of Bangtan episode chapter five, uh, which will be coming out to you shortly after this is released. Uh, I want to let everybody know um, I'm just finishing up Damien. And so if you guys are interested, we'll probably late this week, early next week when I get home, uh, we will probably be going through this. I don't know whether I'm going to do it on discord or whether i'm going to like do a review and we'll like do comments and open up a section or something like that but if you'd like to be uh participate in that or if you're interested in some of the thoughts before i go and do a review on it pick your copy up it's not it's not too long of a read um so anyway thank you all so much for being here being patient with me again we're going to be doing if i rule the world today if you haven't already please if you want to follow us on our journey don't forget to like subscribe hit the little notification bell so you know when our videos go live you know, when we go live, because we still do some live streams, we're going to be changing up uh, a little bit of that soon. But I'm super, super excited uh, for this. So as with all the color-coded uh, lyric videos, once I get done, I'm going to go, I'll look up dual set uh, just to make sure if there's anything that was like really, really, you know, like a big difference between the lyrics of what's in this and that. I'll talk about that uh, at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Otherwise, without further ado, let's do it. Let's go. If I rule the world, I do it all. West side till I die. Give me the real hook, man. If I rule the world, I do it all. Okay. I don't know how many of you out there know of the group that I'm about to name right now. So like super, super like with the backing tracks, uh, like I don't even, I don't even know what instruments it is. It's just like with like, like that kind of synthesized melody that's behind them and the beat. There is a group out there that I remember from the, from like the late nineties, early two thousands. It was called TQ. The letters T, the letters Q, and they have a few songs on one of their albums that are a lot like this. Um, maybe I'll try to see if I can find one and see if I can edit it into the video right here. If I find it, it's gonna be right here. This is going out. This is me nodding my head when it gets here. Side. I'm like singing it to myself. I can kind of tell, but like I, I, there, there's one that's super, super similar to this, and I'm gonna try to put in here uh, a couple seconds Break up, like so you can see it. It's really, really cool, though. It's really, really cool to see some of that. All right, let's go back. <laughs> okay all right so we got a cool things there's a i mean there's some cool messages right over here right off the front right like yeah he's talking about like just loving on all girls but you know there's a little anti-racism talk um and then we had we we had him talking to like basically all of those three out of the four of them i know the names of and they're like fashion they're big fashion designers so i'm guessing the last one is i'll look it up after this but i'm guessing the last one is so like i call them all up but i'm i'm fairly certain or is it hold on well, i'll go back really quick because did he say that i'm gonna have the kim jong-un Oh, Kim Nam June collection forever on all black. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
사람들에게 불쾌해 노래 제목은 애비가 이쁜 여자들이 개 Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, the title would be I Goo Ga, I Be Buried Under the Pretty Girls That I Watch. Uh, I hate when they do this. I hate it because like there's always I missed one in in in, in a previous song because I didn't see the 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 actual transition of it. So I'm actually before we go through because I want to kind of see this. I'm gonna go real quick over to dual set and I want to see what it says about this line. Okay, so according to I Goo Ga, if I'm reading or to dual set not I Goo Ga, to dual set if I'm reading this correctly, I. I Gukga, I'm probably saying that wrong, is the Korean national anthem. So basically, like, it's a song about love, about like loving the nation. And then I Gukga is like a pun of that. So basically, it looks like what they're trying to say here is basically they'd be making like a song about love. See, assumingly, because of like the way that they're talking about like, you know, having an anthem for everybody to sing, it's essentially their anthem that they're talking about here. And like, this is where like, you gotta, like, you gotta stop because there's small nuances like that, that like, you just wouldn't pick up on otherwise. But I like that. I like that. It's basically, they have their own anthem, the world is singing. And now they have multiple songs that the whole world is singing. So they already got their own anthems. <laughs> I love it. I know it's ridiculous. I'm singing this childish song. This is, this has so much nostalgia for me right now. Cause like, I just remember listening to songs like just like this. And obviously, right. So much of, of, of the music of the K-pop industry genre, whatever was based off of a lot of what we had here uh, in, in the West uh, with pop and with hip hop culture. So it like makes sense. And I believe like I haven't seen at this point in time, uh, chapter five of Rise of on that, but I believe it goes into when they went. It was called hip hop something, but like when I saw some of their other like crack videos and stuff like that, and saw some of the other docu series, they did like that. I don't remember the exact name of it, but they did that um, series with with the rappers and like Warren G and all that. So it would make sense if this is around that time that they would have done something like that and brought a lot of that sound out. But like, oh, it's just hit. God, it's hitting me so good right now. That's awesome. That's awesome. This is one of the things I love about them, man. Like, it's not about it's not about money and fame for them. Like you said, like, if I rule the world, like one of the first things I do is like I go and like I buy a house and I live in my family, right? And you could tell that they're missing this. And I'm guessing that family is probably twofold. Family for them is probably like their actual family, but also probably BTS. Like even at the end of the day, if nothing changed, like, you know, they're all so close to one another that that would really, really make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yep. all right all right yeah so i still would be doing music with like even if i did all this i'd still be doing music with my bts family yep yep <laughs> I, th I thought that it's an early early on I thought they were talking about King Jong-un. Now they are. <laughs> so I'd basically become the King Jong-un of music and then 
cancel, essentially cancel or ban everything besides what I army. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> I guess, like, and there's, like, you know, we're obviously at a very different place with, with North Korea today, but, like, you know, when you're right on the border, it's probably something that hits a lot closer to home. That's just, that's just funny. That's a good shot right there. <laughs> money! Huh. Okay, so interesting. So like they they're saying like they're gonna set the goalpost. They're gonna be what everybody's chasing. Doesn't matter whether it's about money, but like still talking about like shouting out like BTS if they rule the world, like. They could have said anything, right? Especially with the music that was popular during this time or popular here today when you think about it, right? Like, every song, every song, as soon as people get money, it seems like, especially in, like, pop and hip-hop, it's always talking about just, like, buying the most fancy cars and, and drugs and alcohol and jewelry. It's just all about, like, showing off your wealth, right? So many of them. And like here they're talking about like something like they're talking about family and just like making it a better place and like just BTS still being the front of that thing. And like that that's just such a cool I don't know, it's a cool change of page, man. <laughs> Oh man, I like that. That was fun. That was fun. Definitely different. I'd have to look at like the backstory. Like I again, I'd have to imagine this is coming out during that series that it's probably all part of like what what happened with that. Uh but it's a fun little song. But like they never even like even when they make things that are just a little bit different, they never give up on I feel like their home message, which is just so cool. Uh but I like that. It was fun. It just it was cool. Like it's cool that they make music that's A catchy enough and B like that like I don't know it's 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 memorable right off the bat you know like the fact that you get to sing along with it on the first listen that's just that's just a bonus that's just a bonus i really like that so um uh, super super excited hopefully uh sorry about the tech issues on the last one hopefully this uh, one went a little bit better i'm gonna check with dual set really quick just to see if there's anything else that i miss um with the lyrics and stuff like that i'll be right back yeah so i mean it, it this, this one was pretty good. I think there was a couple things with the stocks things where there's a little bit different of a translation where it was more talking about like, don't ask me why my dreams are so small. Like me having the dream just about having like my BTS and my buying time family still like that's not a small dream to me. So like that was a little bit different. Uh, there's a little bit of a, of a nuance about like walking around the stage and then at the end, the goalpost with the money thing like that they are the goalpost, but it, it kind of was just written a little bit differently. But for the most part, I mean, the the this isn't one where outside of that one portion in there uh with the anthem thing where it like completely changed the meaning of the song so really really good i like this i'm super super excited to get uh to chapter five of rise of bangtan again hopefully we've ironed 
the majority of our tech issues out. It's really, really just different when we're doing this ad hoc and a computer that didn't have it on. I had to reload OBS and reload all this stuff and get all the settings for the other one. And we're using a new mic, we're using a different camera, we're using different lighting. So um, I've been having fun with it though. It, it's been kind of refreshing being here and not having to worry about some of the other stuff. So I hope that you guys have been having fun with it too. Please, 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 if you haven't already, go down, like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you know when our videos come out, you know when we go live, um, comment, make sure you comment, just say hi, thumbs up, purple heart, something, it helps out with the algorithms and you guys do that right when the video comes out so we can get there. Obviously, I know that we're on the road to 25K, which we should be hitting any day now, depending on when this video hits, um, but I, I would really, really, uh, obviously, my dream, my goal at the end of the day is to, to not have to go back to work full time, which we're doing right now. I'd like to come back and do this. I think we'll probably need to be based on the math between 80 to 100,000 subs in order to do that. So that's kind of our new goal. I know it's lofty, but I know that you guys will help me get there. And uh, I've just been so excited to be on this journey with all of you. I feel like it's just, I, I don't know. I can't speak for all reactors, but I feel like I do things a little bit differently because for me, this is about the experience. And I've had such an amazing experience with this that like now it's like that I had to go back to work. I miss it. Uh, and I miss you guys. So uh, please don't forget, hit those buttons, help with the subscribes, get the word out there. I love you guys. Check out our live streams. We have a lot of fun there. We do a lot of live content, live singing. Some of the BTS songs uh, are going to be on there. So love you guys. Borhe Army, if nobody told you they love you today, don't forget I love you. You're appreciated and you're always welcome here in this channel, regardless of where we're filming from. And last, but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thank you, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.